fitness. This time I'm going to show you some cardio. Everything that you do on here is always working your cardio because it is getting all of your circulatory system going. But we also need to be able to get the heart rate up. There were a number of times using this machine on my exercises that I do get the heart rate up, but if you specifically want to work on cardio, here's some ideas. This is essentially a fancy step machine, so some different things that you can do. Plyometrics would be the first one. So with plyometrics, you're going to stand off the machine, you're going to take yourself and lunge yourself up, and then you're going to come down on this foot lightly, and then back down. And you're going to do it quickly. So you're going up and down, up, down. Up, down. You can either add the arms or not. If you feel that you want more of a workout, you can add in weights. So that is plyometrics. Next one is just using it as a regular step up machine. So with that, you're going to do your step up. Make sure that when you step up onto the machine, you are not using your knee to lift yourself. When you're going upstairs, anything, if you are a person with bad knees, don't use your knee to lift you up a step. Use your glutes. And the beauty of the machine is, you will have very strong glutes, so it's easy to do. So when I'm lifting, I feel tension in here when I'm lifting myself up. I feel next to nothing in the knee, okay? So to do your step exercises, all you're doing is whatever works for you, and lifting up the knee. And of course, you'll have the machine either running or not running. If you have the machine running, it is going to add to the intensity of the workout. So if I put it on P1, now I've got that instability, so it makes it just that much more challenging. Plus, it's flushing the lactic acid out at the same time that I'm doing my cardio, so I'm not going to get as much step sit in this morning. Now, you can do way more than 10 minutes on the machine when you're doing this way, because you're spending a good chunk of time when you're not on the machine. Okay? Those are your step ups. Then you can also do side lunges. I've shown you those before. So you step up and lift up your knee, or simply just lift yourself up. Again, using your glutes all the time to lift yourself up. Make sure that you're doing equal numbers on each leg. Okay? So you can also do side steps. By doing that, again, you're working different muscles when you're working yourself from side to side on the machine. So you're simply going to start on one side, go across, add in your arms if you want to, add in weights if you want to, add in a knee lift as you go across, whatever is going to get that heart rate up. It doesn't take long, especially if you have the machine on at the same time. One of the things that I discovered on here, I had a rowing machine once upon a time, gathered an awful lot of dust, eventually gave it away. I just gave away my elliptical machine because it too was just something to dust. I use this every single day. Now remember, you use it for 10 minutes at a time, but you could do it several times a day, so long as you're taking at least an hour in between for your muscles to recover. So to do rowing, you can turn the machine on or not. I'm going to turn it off because I've had plenty of exercise doing this. And I take my TheraBand. You can get these at any exercise store, Zellers, uh, any rehab place. You can go to Physio and buy them. They're about five bucks a band. I just wrap it around my feet and machine on or machine off. And I simply do my rowing exercises. And I spent several hundred on my rowing machine. And with the machine running and this going and my $5 rubber band, I can get a heck of a good workout. Okay.